touch so you're physical. Lot well, riding on the ball game. You get that blood in your eyes and you play with heart. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Hooten's Arkansas Football. Chad Hooten couldn't be with us tonight because he's busy overseeing another one of his projects, the Altel Hooten's Kickoff Classic. But rest assured, he will be back here next week. Well, the first Friday night of the high school football season was full of surprises, but before we run our first play, we're going to take a quick time out. I'll be back in just a sec. Hooten's Arkansas Football is brought to you by First Security Bank, by Landers, by Sonic, by Arkansas Heart Hospital, by First Baptist Church of Springdale and the Church at Pinnacle Hills, by Arkansas Blue Cross Blue Shield, by the Marines, by the Arkansas Hospital Association, and by Alltel. Brought to you by Sonic. You gotta fight tonight. You gotta fight. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna tell you no difference. You gotta fight on your hands tonight. You understand that? Yes, sir. But let me tell you this. If it was my last fight, if it was the last one I was gonna fight, I'd choose you. You understand that? Yes, I'd want every guy in this room on my side. You understand? Because yes, I know you're gonna fight. And I know what you're gonna do. And I know how you're gonna play. I want you. But let me tell you something, man. There's a lot of ways to approach a fight. There's a lot of ways. You can sneak up on them from behind, can't you? Yes, sir. You can wait for them to, to throw the first lick and you can retaliate, can't you? Yes, sir. That ain't the way. That ain't the way. There ain't but one way to win this fight tonight. There ain't but one way. You understand me? Yes, sir. You kick the dang door in. You hear me? Yes, sir. You kick it in. You go in screaming. You don't sneak up on nobody. You go in screaming. You grab a two before. You grab a crowbar, whatever you get your hands on, and you swing until they don't get up no more. You understand? Yes, sir. And when they're down, and when they will be down, because they ain't got the heart you got, when they're down, you finish them. You hear me? Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. No doubt, rising coach Clay Toddy is a master motivator. His fiery speeches helped the Wildcats win the Class 2A state title last season, but it looked like Friday night's pregame speech would be wasted early against Fordyce as Kentrell Rogers breaks free on a 75-yard touchdown run on the Red Bugs' first play to put Fordyce up 7-0. But Ryzen did not fold. They did not quit. The Wildcats come right back. Quarterback Eric Green with the keeper up the middle. He ties it up 7-all, and Ryzen eventually came back to beat Fordyce 26-20 the final. The Dardanelle Sand Lizards think they can play with anyone in the tough four triple-A, but first they had to handle the surprise team of the double-A ranks a year ago, the Danville Little Johns. The Sand Lizards race to an early first quarter lead. It's home opener Friday with big play defense and smothering defense as Little John quarterback Joseph Short had little success early as linebackers Sean Collins, Josh Brock, and lineman Joe Conley disrupt the Danville option attack. But the sun hadn't set on the Little John's hopes just yet. Early in the second quarter on fourth down, Short freezes the defense with a play action pass and finds James Hall, who finishes inside the Sand Lizard 15 yard line. Five plays later, Short sneaks in from there to cut the Dardanelle lead to 12 6. And Danville still had its chances in the fourth quarter before an interception sealed the deal for Dardanelle as the Sand Lizards hold on for a 24-19 victory. The Shiloh Saints still atop the AA rankings, but Ryzen gaining some ground after the Wildcats' impressive 26-20 win over Fordyce. Junction City third, Carlisle fourth. The Charleston Tigers move up a spot after whipping Paris 34-8. Camden Harmony Grove is sixth. Hampton seventh, Mark Tree, Mineral Springs, then Murfreesboro cracks the top 10, moving up three spots after a 36-33 win over Boxite, while Boxite falls several spots to 11th place. Danville also falls after losing to Dardanelle, likewise for Barton, which lost by one point to Hughes, seven to six. Magnet Cove, 14th. Desarc 15th up a couple spots. Augusta also moves up with a victory. Harding Academy falls three spots after losing to Class 3A Ball Knob 35 to 33. Gurdon, Hector, and Salem all lose a little ground. We'll stay where you are because we'll head to the AAA ranks next when Hooten's Arkansas Football returns. 
Landon. To the AAA ranks where Pine Bluff Dollarway didn't have to travel far to find Watson Chapel. Don't forget your programs and, of course, your tickets. And did I mention it rained more in some areas than others on Friday, creating some less than desirable playing conditions, as Dollarway's Eddie Ringo shows us just how wet the field was. Now inside two minutes in the first quarter, fourth and one for Dollarway, when the Cardinals' Thor Shelby not only gets the first down, but he rambles 35 yards inside the 15. And on the very next play, Sahib Rogers finds some room along the left side for the score. Dollarway missed the extra point, but the Cardinals lead six to nothing. But it was a short-lived lead. Start of the second quarter. Watson Chapel quarterback Kyle Williams, whose brother Kevin Williams plays defensive back for the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, he scores to tie it up 6-6, the first of two touchdowns on the night for Williams, as Watson Chapel went on to take a 33-6 lead before having to hold on to beat Dollarway 33-24. Pulaski Academy traveled to Clarksville where it had its hands full with the Panthers and senior running back Ray Rideout who dominated the first half. He had over 100 yards rushing in the first half, 180 in the game as Clarksville took a 14-7 halftime lead. And things didn't go much better on offense for the Bruins as sophomore running back Matt Stoltz and senior quarterback Thomas Thrash fumbled on successive plays. But the Panthers returned the favor as senior Bruin defensive back Scott Hilburn pounces on a Panther fumble to set up a 10-yard touchdown pass from Thrash to Rick Campbell. That pulled Pulaski Academy within a point at 14-13. And then Thrash calls his own number as the Bruins take the lead 15 to 14. The two teams then traded turnovers in the fourth quarter as Clarksville senior defensive back Pierce Curran steps in front of a thrash pass and Stoltz forces a Panther fumble that sophomore Stephen Green recovers. Four plays later, Thrash finds senior wide receiver Quentin Jones and that'll do it. Velasquez Academy picks up the win 22 to 14. But I'm proud of you for coming back in the second half and getting it done. Had a lot of big plays, a lot of guys contributed. A lot of guys made some big plays, and we've got to have more of that out of some of you other guys. And that's where we practice, and that's where we play games to see who's going to get it done. We want to find out who can get it done for us every quarter. So when conference time comes, we're here. We're ready to go. We got it done. It wasn't a good win. It was ugly, but it's a W, so we're pretty happy with it. In the AAA poll, the Nashville Scrappers stay on top despite losing to Hope. McGee is second, Boonville third after beating Yellville, then Warren, and then Dollarway, which fell to Watson Chapel. Pulaski Academy is sixth after beating Clarksville, then DeQueen, Dardanelle, Gosnell. Pocahontas vaults up four spots with an impressive scrimmage and season opening win, then Hamburg, Ashdown, Rivercrest, Bald Knob with a big win over Harding Academy. The Dover Pirates, Lone Oak Jackrabbits, Ozark Hillbillies, and the Fordyce Redbugs are 18th after losing to Ryzen 26-20. The Farmington Cardinals whipped Waldron. They come in at number 19. And the Prescott Curly Wolves enter the top 20 for the first time in two years. Clinton not in the top 20, but Yellow Jackets running back Ben Frey rushed for 389 yards and three touchdowns in a win over Green Forest. Hang on, much more, including the 4A ranks when Hooten's Arkansas football returns. Football, brought to you by Arkansas Heart Hospital. To the 4A ranks where Whitehall hosted Sheridan and new head coach Marcel Vincent. Scoreless in the first, Sheridan driving. Yellow Jacket quarterback Stan Mosley finds Daniel Job, but he pays the price, leveled by Whitehall's Justin Smith. Sheridan Still trying to get something going, trying to regroup, but this time it's Mosley's turn to face the wrath of the Bulldog defense. He's dropped for a loss. So how did the Whitehall offense do? Well, not much better early. Terrence Nelson stopped there after a short game, but the Bulldogs did eventually get things going and ended up beating Sheridan 14-7 the final. Let's head to Saline County, to Benton, where the Panther fans were pumped up for a visit by Arkadelphia. Badger standout quarterback Paul Goza takes a big hit from Benton's Brian Bailey, meeting the defense up close and personal. Later, fourth down and short for Benton, but the Badgers hold and get the ball back. Still scoreless at that point, and that makes the big crowd visiting from Arkadelphia happy. But Benton did get on the board. 
With this field goal by Jared Little, that made it 3-0. Benton using its big bruising fullbacks all night, and Benton ended up winning this ballgame 17-6. The Rocket Man knows that one of Little Rock Catholic's two victories came against North Pulaski in last year's season opener. They did it again Friday night. Catholic faking to the fullback, faking everyone out before handing to wideout Cody Yeoman for a 17-yard gain to the North Pulaski 18. Same drive, now in the second quarter. Catholic hands to the fullback and Chance Yoder puts the first points on the board. 6-0 Catholic after the missed extra point. At that point, the first game fumbles set in as both teams traded turnovers, but Catholic ended up winning this one, an ugly one at War Memorial, 12-0. Morrillton still atop the Class 4A poll. The Devil Dogs' Kevin Foster rushed for 171 yards in a two-point victory over Russellville, 42-40. The Devil Dogs stopped a late two-point conversion by the Cyclones to hold on for the victory. Then Hope, Alma still third despite a 19-point shutout loss at the hands of Van Buren. Monticello, Wynn, Osceola, Harrison, Watson Chapel up one spot with a win over Dollarway. Then Magnolia, Arkadelphia, the Badgers suffered a tough loss at Benton. Little Rock Fair lost by two at McClellan. Searcy, Whitehall, Batesville, Greenwood. The Newport Greyhounds are 16th. The Stuttgart Rice Birds are 17th. West Helena, Malvern slides up one spot with a big win over Little Rock Mills. And Hot Springs Lakeside is 20th in the poll. Stick around. Hooton's Arkansas football will be right back with the Class 5A highlights. Now, more of Hooton's Arkansas football, brought to you by First Security Bank. Conway Cabot, one of the biggest rivalries in Central Arkansas, one of the biggest rivalries in 5A, although Cabot had won three in a row in the series. And of course, the defending state champs were on a 14-game winning streak coming in. No score in the second quarter when Adam Baker scores from five yards out to put Cabot up by six. Still in the second, special teams miscues cost you games. Over the head of the Panther punter, Dan Braden blocks the kick and Quentin Maxfield recovers in the end zone for Conway as the Wampus Cats take the lead 7-6 and they're ready to pounce again minutes later. Cabot with the surprise pass attempt. Bad idea. It's picked off by Che Jones who takes it back to the 10-yard line for Conway and on the very next play, All-State halfback John Duhart finds Paydirt, giving the Wampus Cats a 14-6 lead and we've got an upset. The streak is over for Cabot. The streak ends at 14 games as Conway wins this one 21 to 13. J.A. Fair hosted Little Rock McClellan Friday night. Lion quarterback Darrell Burnett rolling to his right, but J.A. Fair's Henry Jordan is there for the sack, ruining the Lions' drive. Now Fair on offense, and Clyde Holmes gives to Kenneth Robinson, but he is greeted by a host of Lions at the line of scrimmage, a defensive struggle early. Lion coach David Gunn going to try to open up the offense a little bit. Burnett with the draw to Leroy Hamilton, and he finds an opening, and he's gone. 95 yards down the sideline in front of the War Eagle bench, no less, and McClellan takes the halftime lead 8-zip, and the Lions held on to beat Fair 8-6. Little Rock Parkview taking on Jacksonville. The Patriots only won one game last season, but right off the bat, Parkview blocks a punt, and the Patriots are set up at the eight on their second offensive possession. And a few plays later, Leonard Hall finds the end zone from 10 yards out, and Parkview jumps on top seven to nothing. The next drive, Patriots moving the ball again. This time, Antone James finds Marcus Winston for another score. 14-0 Patriots, and Parkview goes on to shock Jacksonville 20-7. Ernie McGee has his Patriots primed early. Parkview could be a team to keep an eye on this season. North Little Rock hosting Camden Fairview. The visitors up 14-3 in the third quarter when Ron Browning takes the handoff up the middle and races 60 yards for another score. 23 Cardinals after a missed PAT. But the charging Wildcats staged a rally as LaRon Young heads where else? Up the middle, and he breaks free for a long touchdown run. He added another touchdown run on North Little Rock's following drive to pull the charging Wildcats within three at 20 to 17. But Camden Fairview stayed in front, winning this one 28-25. North Little Rock missing a field goal with seconds left in the game. That would have tied it. The Pine Bluff band was happy because the Zebras were up 13-0 over Visiting Hall with 32 seconds left in the second quarter when Omar Blunt added to it, passing to James Iverson for a 20-0 halftime lead, and Pine Bluff rolls on, 
beating Little Rock Hall 41 to nothing. Little Rock Central hosting West Memphis in the first game of the Altel Hootens kickoff classic. And no surprise, Mr. All Everything, Dedrick Poole leading the Tigers. Long runs, touchdown runs, part of the course for Mr. Poole as the Tigers roll over the Blue Devils 27 7. Little Rock Central beats West Memphis. We have a new number one at the top of the 5A poll as Fort Smith Southside moves up from number three with a 32-7 win over El Dorado. Crosstown rival Fort Smith Northside up from number five after a 28-10 win over Greenwood. Then Little Rock Central is third after whipping West Memphis 27-7 in the Altel Hootons kickoff classic. Springdale up from number six. The Bulldogs kicked off the Gus Malzahn era in style with a 41-17 win over Tulsa Bishop Kelly. Cabot, number five, the defending state champs are 0-1. Bentonville is 6th, West Memphis 7th, Conway big win over Cabot for the Wampus Cats, Bryant rolled over Sylvan Hills 45-6, Fayetteville is 10th, Van Buren 11th, the Pointers opened with a 19-0 win over Alma, Rogers, another 5A West team, opened with a win, El Dorado embarrassed by Southside, Jonesboro stays at number 14 with a win over rival Newport, then Texarkana, Mountain Home, Russellville at number 17, the only 5A West team to lose its opener last night, falling to Morrillton 42-40, despite almost 400 yards of passing by Cyclone quarterback Landon Leach. Pine Bluff, a 41-0 win over Hall. Mills is 19, and Camden Fairview comes in at 20th place. The Cards beat North Little Rock 28-25. But again, the 5A West starts out 7-1 and, and gets seven teams in the Hootons' top 12. Now, the Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. Sheridan quarterback Stan Mosley threw for over 2,000 yards and 15 touchdowns last season, but he also takes his work in the classroom seriously, and he has a 3.5 GPA to prove it. And Stan says he has the same game plan, whether it's on the field or in the classroom. Well, if you don't practice hard for the game, you're going to get beat. And if you don't study hard for the test, in the same sense, you're going to get beat there, too. United States Marine Corps takes pleasure in presenting the Scholar Athlete of the Week Award to Stan Mosley, Sheridan High School. You have been selected by Hooton's Arkansas Publishing Incorporated, the state's leading authority on the high school football, as a recipient of this prestigious honor for the 2001 football season. Presented this 20th day of August, 2001, Sergeant Nicholas Pinoza. Thank you. Congratulations. So congratulations are due to Stan Mosley, our Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. Hey, kids like that deserve all the credit they get. Well, it's the first day of September and we're already having fun this high school football season. Just think where we'll be in November and December. And Hooton's Arkansas football will be here to update you all season long. I hope to see you here, same time, same place, next week. Good night, everyone. Make sure you're physical. Lot riding on the ball game. You get that blood in your eyes and you play with heart. Good sell.